The rich culture and untapped talents of the constituency of Babono were brought to the fore as part of the Nobel Laureate Festival celebrating excellence. Despite rainy weather and a power outage, the Babono Constituency Council charged on. Welcome remarks were delivered by the chairperson of the Constituency Council, Mrs. Marilyn Bain. We are here to recognize those two and nurture excellence in Babono. We have hidden figures right here in the various communities of Babono. Nobel Laureate Committee 2024 Chair Dame Paulette Louisi says the festival's showcase of creativity, talent, and excellence honors the memories of the island's two Nobel laureates, Sir Derek Walcott and Sir Arthur Lewis. The whole idea is to, to show that we do have in St. Lucia the type of creativity that can produce more Nobel laureates. I don't know if any of you here was born on the 23rd of January, and so you probably stand a good chance of perhaps being our third Nobel laureate. Charm and warmth filled the auditorium as Babono poets, singers, and writers read excerpts from their books delighting the audience. From here, hills fold one into another, green into smoke of distant gray. The aloneness of our distance wraps around me like this morning mist in January. Only two happy moments I do making my belief your day to be dominant and woman must submit and be subservient. Parliamentary representative for Babono, Dr. Virginia Albert Poyot, took a trip down memory lane, embracing the significant contributions of both Nobel laureates towards St. Lucia's advancement. And I actually had dinner at the City Hall where Derek Walcott was honored. And I went to the post office and there they had stamps of Derek Walcott and they had photos of him all in the streets of Sweden. And you could imagine how proud I felt that this man was coming from my country. And I was telling him, he's from my country, you know, this is the Nobel Prize, and, you know. So there was a lot of excitement about um, Derek Walcott receiving his award. But there is also a very profound message that came from Sir William Arthur Lewis. And sometimes we just say it loosely, but it is a very deep statement where he said that the cure of poverty is not money, but knowledge. And I think that is why the government of St. Lucia, the government of which I am part of, invest heavily in education. Cultural groups from Babono kept energy levels high until the curtains closed on the 2024 Babono Nobel Laureate Showcase. <laughs>